So it's still a lovely evening up here on Wimbledon Common. There's the golf course. And I've come across some trees over here with uh, this fungal problem again. Seems to be a similar problem to trees all over the um, all over the common here. So one sort of question we could ask would be to say, what proportion of all of the trees of this type, I think it's some sort of acorn type, what proportion of all the trees on the common with that um, of that tree type have this um, infection that's causing um, problems to um, some of the some of the leaves. Now, Wimbledon Common, if you've been up here, is a pretty big place, right? And I certainly am not going to be running around looking at every single um, tree, although maybe there's somebody who would do that. So rather than um, going around and looking at what we would call the prevalence, so what's the prevalence of this infection um, on trees, on these trees here, rather than going around and looking at every single one, what we do is we sample the trees and we then have a look to see whether each of those that we included in the sample, um, how many of them actually had a, this infection on their leaves. So a sample is just a subgroup of all of the trees um, that are here on the common. And the ideal way to select that sample is to come up with a, what's called a random um, selection. So rather than me just going around and looking at you know, this tree and then this tree and then that tree and then that tree and then that tree and then that tree over there, which are all on the outside of the um, common here, and the woods go way, way back, way, way back over there. So rather than just doing that and me going around and choosing the ones that are most convenient for me, that's called convenient sampling, um, what we would do is I would randomly allocate different trees. using uh, random numbers. You probably came across those during maths, something like that at A level. So that's how we'd select them. And maybe we would just say, would just select three or four percent of all of the trees that are here um, so that we don't um, spend our whole lives just going around counting them. And if we have a representative sample, what that means is we can be pretty confident about generalizing and saying, okay, if five percent or ten percent of the sample has this fungal infection, then we generalize and say that 5 or 10% of all of the trees uh, have this infection. So that's why random sampling is really good. If we didn't use random sampling and I just looked at these trees on the outside, we'd be much less confident that that was the case, that we could generalize from just these non-randomly selected trees. So um, that would be a survey, if you like, a survey of the prevalence of this infection in different trees.